Hello friends, continuing with the uh, continuing from the last video. I want to talk about the transformation of the basic parabola y is equal to x squared. Now there are basically three types of transformation. One is the parabola moves to the right or left. Okay? That is sideways. It, the parabola can move to the right or left or it can go up or down. That's the second transformation. The first is whether it goes to the right or left. The second is whether it goes up or down. We're going to talk about those two transformations. Of course, there is a third transformation which is called uh, the stretch factor. Or you are pulling the parabola or you're pushing the parabola. I'll explain that later. We are focusing on the only the basic parabola y is equal to x squared. So let me draw that y is equal to x squared. So here we go. So this blue parabola is the basic parabola. So all parabolas that you ever see is the transformation of this parabola. So you should understand this parabola quite well. The vertex of this or the minimum point is 0, 0 in this case. So then you go one across and one up. So the one point, the next point is 1, 1. And then if you go two across, you go to four up. So two, four is the next point. Okay. Same way, if you go one to the left, you have to go one up. And if you go two to the left, you go to four up. So the this point and this, or in this case, the y-axis is called the line of symmetry. Basically, if you look at, uh, if you see the y-axis as the mirror line, this and this are reflection of each other. Okay, so you can say that negative 2, 4 and uh, say 2, 4 are reflection of each other. In the same way, 1, 1 and negative 1, 1 are reflection of each other. Okay, so this is the basic parabola. So now what happens if I put a minus here, as I, as I explained in the last video? This parabola will flip over, okay, flip over on the x-axis. So in that case, okay, let me uh, enter that. So this pink parabola is the same parabola, but it has flipped over. Here, you can see one, negative one is the point. So one, one, if you now consider the x-axis as the middle line, so this reflects to one, negative one. Okay, and uh, two, let me scroll up. So you got this point 2, negative 4. Okay, that's a reflection of 2, 4. Okay, now the, in this is 2, negative 4. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, some basic uh, transformations, okay, of this these two parabolas. So as I showed you in the last video, uh, in the bracket, if you put a minus, suppose that, let me write an equation, x minus 2 squared plus 1. Now, before I enter, I'll tell you what will happen. This parabola will move 2 to the right and 1 up. How do I know that? This minus tells me the parabola moves to the right. Okay. Now, to understand that, uh, this is how I remember. Uh, when would x minus 2 become a 0? I know x minus 2 becomes a 0 when x is equal to 2. Now, why do I consider 0? Because in the basic parabola, the vertex of the turning point is 0 here. So I'm going to set this equal to 0. If I set this equal to 0, in this case, the x value of the vertex is 0. So the x value of the vertex uh, to, I'll set that equal to 0, so it has to be 2. So if I enter this parabola, this blue parabola will move 2 to the right and 1 up. So the vertex from 0, 0 will become 2, 1. So let me enter. There we go. So this white parabola, you can see, the vertex here was 0, 0 has become 2, 1. That means the vertex has moved uh, two across and one up. Okay. 
Now, it has happened to all the points. Suppose if you look at 1, 1, 1, 1 has become 3, 2. So 1, 1 is here. It has gone 2 across and 1 up. Okay. So look, you can see all other points. It has the same. Suppose this is say 2, 4. 2, 4 will move 2 across. That means 2 across means it will move to 4, 4, 5. Can you see? So this is the transformation. Now what happens if I put a plus here? So let me put a plus here. Think about it. When it was minus, it moved to the right. So if it is plus, it will move to the left. That's right. So here we go. So you can say this is, the same parabola has moved two to the left and one up. Okay, so I, that's how I remember. When it's plus, it moves to the left. And if it is minus, it moves to the right. And this number tells me whether it has moved up or down. Okay. Now, uh, what happens if I put, uh, let me take one more example. Suppose let me take, if I do x minus 3 here, yeah? x minus 3 uh, plus 2. So think about it, what will happen? So as it is minus 2, this blue parabola, the basic parabola, Minus means moving to the right. It will move to the right and two up. So this zero zero. We are focusing on vertex. Okay. When I uh, when I say vertex, it doesn't mean the other points don't move. All the points will move, but we'll focus only on the vertex. So here, if I enter the blue parabola, the new parabola that I'm going to draw, I know the vertex would be three, two, because it will move, the zero, 0, will move 3 to the right and 2 up. So let me enter. Here we go. Can you see the vertex here? It is 3, 2. Okay. What will happen if I put a plus here? Delete and plus. This, for the same thing, it will move 3 to the left and 2 up. See, this green, dark green parabola has, the vertex has become negative 3, 2. Okay, now what happens if I put negative minus, say, x, x plus 2 squared plus 1. Let's think about it before entering. This negative means the parabola is, has flipped over. So this now it will, this negative tells me this basic parabola first flips over. Then plus 2 means it will move, yes, 2 to the left. And this plus 1 means it will be, uh, it will move 1 up. 0, 0 is 0, 0 in this case. Negative doesn't make any difference. It will move, this will be an upside down parabola, which has moved 2 to the left and 1 up. Okay, so here we go. So this has this parabola. First, the transformation from here becomes upside down. Then it will move 2 to the left and 1 up. Okay, so what happens? Suppose if I do think about it before I minus, say, 3. Let me delete it. Uh, delete minus 1. So let us think about it. So here, minus means the basic parabola uh, would flip over first. That means this will become the pink parabola. Then minus 3 means it will move 3 to the right, and then it will move 1 down. This minus 1 tells me it has to move 1 down. So I presume the, parab the vertex of the new parabola, this this pink parabola has flipped over, then moves 3 to the right and 1 down. So the parabola, the vertex would lie here. Okay, let me put the cursor there and then let me put enter. There we go. So the parabola is the same. First it's flipped over because of minus, then it moved 3 across and 1 down. So let me show you one last example. 
what happens if it is say x minus um, what number should I take? Okay, minus four, delete, and plus three. So again, I know this minus means it flips over, then it moves. Minus means it has to move four to four to the left and three up. Okay, so where is my three? So I'll put the cursor there. Okay, so this should be the vertex of the new parabola. Okay. Let me put the cursor there and enter. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. It has to, minus means it has to move, yes, uh, it has to move four to the right, okay? I was wrong there, four to the right and three up, okay? So what happens if I do a plus there? So it has to move, plus means it has to move to the left, four to the left and three up. So now I hope I will be wrong. I'll be right. Okay, I'll put the cursor there and see what happens. There we go. Here's my cursor. The pre this and this are reflection of each other. So it has moved uh, minus means first flips over, then it moves plus four means it moves four to the left, and plus three means it will uh, move three up. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.